Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, let's just hide this for now. There we go. I'll do that. There we go. All right, we'll just wait for the other two now. I reckon it'll be Josh first today. Oh my god, that was bloody quick. Yes, best team in the world. I wasn't expecting you two to come in so bloody quickly. You're eager, ain't you? Oh god, Quagmire's here, everyone. We didn't say boobs, Dave. You ruined the gimmick. You're only supposed to appear when we say boobs. Give us a couple Give us a couple of minutes, lads. I've already booked Raw. Um, as in, I've set it all up, ready to go. I literally only just remembered to do it ten minutes ago, hence why I'm a little bit late. Yeah, I'm going to call him Rick Boobs. There you go. That's what his name's going to be, Rick Boobs. No, I'm calling him Rick Boobs now. You're giving me the idea. I'm nicking it from you. And that'll be that. Just have to deal with it. Sorry, Dave. Uh, I'll be with you in a few seconds. I'm nearly finished. My aim today is to get a brand new follower on Twitch. That's what we want, lads. I want to get closer to that 50 so I can get monetized. Give her a Valvinus gimmick. Who's her? Rick Boogs is a man, not a woman. Right, I'll finish posting on my socials. Let's hope for the best. You're always thinking of boobs. You got four boobs at the same time. You're very lucky, Dave. Right, before I forget, where is he? There you go. Rick, boobs, boobs, there you go, I need to add, oh I need to change, I need to change, I need, uh, where is his, him, he needs to be called by his proper name, none of this, Adam Sure. Braun. I think I've got the wrong, wrong Braun Strowman, by the way, but we'll see. Ah, oh, yeah. I've hired the wrong Braun. I need to release this fraud. Now, what do I want to negotiate? Release. You cannot release... Oh, okay. I'll release him afterwards. Right, let's get this cracking. Oh, let me just check the chat so I'm missing anything. Anyway, how are you two today? Are you okay? 
I think I've put on a very good show, Josh. I'm not making... Uh, I'm, I'm coming out strong in this one. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Can't complain. Same old, same old. Dave, are you okay today? Dave's too busy with the twins. Once Dave replies, I'll start raw. I don't want him missing anything. I'm really enjoying my um, my Scottish Premiership saves, Josh. I'm I'm really enjoying my Rafe Rover save on YouTube, getting into that, and I'm also really enjoying my Kilmarnock save as well um, offline. I just finished. I finished third in my second season with Kilmarnock. I've got Deli Alley. I've got I've got oh, oh for Rafe Rovers. I've got Deli Alley and Paul Pogba. I've got Paul Pogba. Even though he's a cheating scumbag, I've still got him. Yeah, you'll get bored that Leicester save within about an hour. Don't you reckon, Dave? How long? Should we do a prediction? I predict in 24 hours you'll get bored that save. <laughs> Try a Scottish League save. I guarantee you'll, you'll enjoy it if you stick with it. Right, you're just writing the show, Dave. I'm going to start my show now. So, right, opening match. Sami Zayn defeated Rey Mysterio. Got an 88 rating. Um, AOP. Sorry, Beer Money defeated AOP. Uh, got a 77 rating. Basically, um, SST, SST, the Bloodline SST, SST stands for Samoan SWAT team, by the way. Um, they were distracting AOP at the time. And then I did a interview segment with Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman gets a 94 because the rest of these guys are not. Well, and then again, Akam and Razor are apparently uh, good on promos on this game. But yeah, 94 rank for Paul Heyman. I did a four-way match with Otis defeating Bobby Lashley, John Cena and Andrade. That got an 84 rating. I was hoping that would get a higher rating, but oh well. Um, yeah, that's about it on that one. Can't get my words out today. Um, we have a tag team title change. No, we didn't. Sorry, I stand corrected. Los Laferios defeat Street Profits. So they've um, successfully defended their title now. Uh, apparently there was times there where definite lack of psychology on display. Uh, the match had the tendency to drift a little. Uh, that's not good, is it? You might you might have a chance of beating me this week uh, and this one, Josh, this episode. Did a four-way match. Ronda Rousey defeated Alexa Bliss. Charlotte Flair and Bailey in for the title. Annoyingly, Ronda Rousey used her creative uh, creativity court, court, whatever it's called, creativity cause, because uh, I originally wanted Bailey to win, so I went sod it. So Ronda Rousey's the champion. John Cena promo just to get that hundred on there. Stone Cold one as well, got a ninety-five. Uh, did a promo between CM Punk and Okada, got an eighty-three. And then we did CM Punk defeating Okada. They got a 94 rating. And then we did an angle afterwards where Randy Orton attacks CM Punk's end Raw. We've got a 93 again. 93 again. Woo! Josh, you're going to have to pull it out of the... Uh... See, the thing is, I thought you beat me last uh, yesterday, but somehow you didn't. I think it's that John Cena 100. I think that helps a lot. I think as long as I have an angle with John Cena and Stone Cold, I'll pretty much match whatever you can give back. I think. Right, then I'll forward it to Dave's show. 
I think I think Punk and Okada probably could have done better. I, I personally think that Okada's getting more popular in America now. He's in his he's in like seventies or something in American popularity. I will check in a second. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, so Ricardo's now 80. He was like 77, 78, so he's getting more popular now. Haven't got him in a feud, though, so I'm going to start giving him some wins, I think, at some point. Right. Uh, he needs the next one. Dave, calm down. I haven't even started it yet. Is that the whole show? Right, nobody talk for about five minutes while I book Dave's show. Because <laughs> I have to keep scrolling up and if you keep typing, I can't keep I can't keep track of it. Now you can talk for now, it's alright, I can scroll up. I'll tell you when to stop saying anything. Right. I brought Crazy Steve over, but I'll sort that out afterwards. Chelsea Green's back, by the way, forever has got Chelsea Green. Right, let me start booking this then. Angle, oh. Angle, AJ Styles, Mike, Owens. As in open match decisive win. Is that what you mean, Dave? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, let me just do this then. Um, AJ Styles, mic. You don't want Kevin Owens on the mic? Isn't he very good on the mic? So the only one you want on the mic in this angle is AJ Styles and then the other three. Okay. Too many Kevins. Uh, yeah, Kevin too. Okay. And then Oscar and Carrie Zane versus. Piper and Shotzi. Piper? Oh, Piper Niven, yeah, sorry. Yeah, have a think. Let me do all this first. We can sort out an, a set, uh, another match in a minute. So you want Kabuki Warriors to win. Right, Imperium versus Riddle and Cobb.
Apparently, Jack Cobb's very unhappy about the booking of that. Just letting you know. Uh, Imperium, new angle, new day and judgment day, all the new day rated on market thing. Okay. Can you make Cobb strong? Won't it affect the match though if you make somebody strong? I can do it if you want me to do it. But didn't you or didn't you all just say that at once that if you make somebody strong, it affects the match? If you want to affect them, I don't think it makes any difference. He's still not going to be happy, but you can do. We can. I can. I'm happy to do it. We can give it a go, see if it works, and then at least you know. Actually, that actually helped. That actually helped. No, no. It helped because he didn't complain. So by making him, keeping him strong, he's happy with the, the match result now. So do you want me to keep it or do you want me just to go back and get rid of him uh, keeping strong? Do you want him to keep, keep strong or not? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so where are we at the moment? Right, so we've done the New Day angle with, with Judgment Day and then Apollo Crews versus Kevin Owens 30 Minutes. And go, okay. Who was going for going against again? Kofi. Right then, Dave. Is that... Do you want anything else added? Anything, any, do you want anything changed? Anything you want me to sort out before we click uh, start show? Right then, let's see how you get on. Uh, the angle that you did with AJ, Kevin Owens, Nakamura and Bronson Reed got an 85 rating. Kevin Owens clearly enjoyed having the freedom to go off script, which is weird because he got punished for doing that last week, uh, yesterday's episode, so it's very random when that happens. Um, the tag team match got an 81 rating. Kabuki Warriors won. The storyline, you've set up advances. Imperium defeated Chosen Bros, got an 82 rating. Jeff Cobb benefited from having a, a groundswell of public support, whatever that means. Uh, how did Jeff Cobb do in the ring? 77. So he was as good as... He was as good as... Apparently, Giovanni Da Vinci is a better ring-room worker than Ludwig Kaiser, which I find highly unlikely in real life. Uh, the angle that you did with... New Day and Judgment Day got a 79 rating, loads of greens, that's what we like to see. And then you, Kevin Owens defeated Apollo Crews in 30 minutes, got an 89 rating. Um, Apollo Crews had an in-ring performance of 95, so that might be worth you looking at. Um, 
Dave. Apollo Crews might be somebody you can push at some point. They obviously rate him well in the game. And then Gunther defeated Kofi Kingston in 30 minutes and that got an 85 rating. Your show got an 85 rating, so obviously it was better than the one that you did yesterday, so that's good. Um, so yeah, she did well there, Dave. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if Apollo, Apollo Crews... So I'll have a look to see if he's any good on the mic. If he's no good on the mic, then what you need to do is probably have a manager for him, but push him so, so it... You know, play to his strengths and not his weaknesses. Maybe you could get MVP in to be his manager. So, Dalton Castle, Heath Slater and Sammy Callahan are signed for us. So, we just go on the brand split. I had Heath Slater. Who had Dalton Castle? Who had... Who was the other one? Who did I just say? Dalton Castle and who? Uh, who? Hold on. I need to do this. This would be easier, wouldn't it? There we go. Right. I had Crazy Steve because he's on. He's in there. Dalton Castle. Who had Dalton Castle? I had a 93 rating, Dave. You had an 85 rating. Josh, are you making note of these ratings that we're doing each week? You had Good Brothers, you had Dolan. I don't think the Good Brothers are signed yet. I could be wrong. Yeah, they haven't signed yet. So you had Dalton. Okay. Dalton Castle Dynasty. Let me see. There was somebody else we signed. Oh, he's still later. There was somebody else. Who else? Sammy Callahan. Who had Sammy Callahan? Was it you, Josh? Yeah, okay. Right, Sammy Callahan, Smackdown. There we go. Oh, Devon's contract's ending, so we better extend that. I will have a look at Apollo Crews in a second, his microphone. Uh, you got a 6.56 TV rating, 4.925 million viewers, uh, Dave. But apparently ESPN are still not happy. Never bloody happy ESPN. I think I think it was probably a bad idea for you to go with ESPN because they they're hyped. I think we should have. You know, early. You know, the other day when we were sat, when I was saying about TV slot. And you wanted the the one with the highest rating, and I did say to you, "Sure, that's a good idea." I think in hindsight, we probably should have. Can we change the time slot? Shall I have a look? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to see if it's an option. Uh, no. Oh, hold on. No, we can't. I don't think. I don't think we can modify. There's nothing on here to say that we can change the time slot. Josh, there's no way of doing it. I swear there's a way you can do it. I care that you earn money from it. You're working You're working for me. <laughs> I'm book, You're the booker. I'm, I've hired you. I'm Vince McMahon, damn it. I want you to book a, decent, a good show. I can't see, but yeah, you can... Oh, sorry. I just assumed you can... You can adjust the time slot. Okay. How do we adjust the time slot? Because I went into events and it's not in an events. Is it broadcasting maybe? ESPN. Negotiate. Oh, there we go. Uh, adjust time slot. Right. Let me let me show you what I can see before we do anything else. Right then, you can see what I can see now, can't you? I just want to make it easier for you so there's no pressure on you, Dave. Graveyard, do you want Graveyard? Graveyard would be so easy to book. All you've got to do is get an 80, uh, 53. 
We got late night, prime time, evening. So if you went late night, it's an 84, which is what you're just basically doing, isn't it? So you could you don't need to do much to get that one. Yeah, okay. We can always change it after a while. There you go. ESPN have agreed to the change. So that makes it a little bit easier for you. Just curious what Netflix expect us to... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't matter about Netflix because I think it's a streaming one, isn't it? Right, let's look at Apollo Cruise. Hopefully you can see this. Let me just check. You can't, for some reason, why is it? Hold on, lads. Right, so Apollo Cruise. Microphone 78. You could, you could in theory, have him on the mic because he, he is... His mic skills could improve over time, and you wouldn't need to improve them by much. But you can have a manager with him. I can have a look to see who you who we've got as managers. If we go if we go manager dynasty. So you could have AJ Lee or Bill Goldberg as his manager. AJ Lee, what's her microphone like? AJ Lee's got an eighty six microphone. Bill Goldberg's got an eighty seven microphone. Do you want AJ Lee? Yeah. Okay. Right, so Apollo Cruise. If it doesn't work with oh, she, oh he's currently got B Fab as his manager, but we'll change that. AJ Lee. I'm ignoring that comment, Dave, for obvious reasons. Um, right, let me save that so I don't forget. Right then, Josh, I'm going to forward it to SmackDown now. Um, so, oh, for God's sake, Josh, that was quick. I like the fact that you two are ready very quickly. We'll probably be able to do... Um, if we're quick enough, we'll probably be able to book two shows each today. Right, Gail Kim and Ethan Carter the Third has turned up now. We've got them signed. So I know I had Gail Kim. She's going on Raw. Who had Ethan Carter the Third? Who was it? Was it you, Josh, or Dave? Yeah, okay. Right. Right, let me book the show for you, Josh. Isn't there a... I think there's a way we can do this where you can actually do it. Hold on, let me look at this. If you look at options, remote help. Remote help is method of technical support. Several common error. The codes will be given out, but... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Ignore me. <laughs> I thought I thought I could let you do it then. <laughs> well, you've signed a few. You've signed Sammy Callahan and Ethan Carter, and you've got the you got the Good Brothers coming in, so that will help. Right, let me book your show. Are you you know the angle? You know the angle at the start with the bloodline and that. Is that the first? Is that opening the show or closing the show? I just want to know which order we're doing this in. Opening. Okay, right. Give me a few minutes then. I assume six minutes for it. Yeah. Okay. Right. The Rock. Rated on my Roman solo. Okay. Match one, Shayla, Shayna beats Natalia. I 
I assume unless you're telling me otherwise, I'm assuming it's 20 minutes for it, for the match. You might have you might have put something different. I'm just working my way through it, so just bear with us. Yeah, 20 minutes, okay. Right, Shane, and then match two, DIY, beating the Miz and our truth You did, you did, um, DIY defeating the Miz and our truth in the last show. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do repetitive, um, booking on here because we've turned the thing off, but yeah, you, you probably already knew that. Um, can you show me the last car show history? Oh, hold on then. Uh, I don't know if it'll let me. Let's have a look. Will it let? Oh yeah, show history. Smackdown. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I got it. I've got it on the screen. Let me know when you finish looking at it and I'll go back to the show. You can do the same match this week and then next week you could do something a little bit different. You don't it don't matter if it if it if it's not if you know, as this expression goes, if it's not if it's not broke, don't fix it or whatever they say. What do you want to do? Just keep on doing it the way you book, wait the way. All good, all good. Okay. All right, let me go back to the show. Let me figure it. Oh my God. I'm okay. You've done it again. All right, that makes it easy for me. I don't have to scroll up now. Thank you. Right. Um, Seth and Drew, both right on mic. Oh no, have I done that wrong? I've done that wrong. I don't know. I did the wrong storyline there. Or did I? What storyline is that? Shame. Oh, hold on. Smackdown. Versus the... The Miz. Oh yeah. So your storylines have nothing to do with... Okay, sorry. Right, let me get rid of that then. Done. Sorry about that. Alright, that's that. Right. Match three. Did you mean... When you said Seth and Drew both rated on mic, did you mean Seamus and Drew? Or is, is are you just done a random Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre mic thing? You meant to do that. Okay. That's only, I'm only asking because Seamus and Drew were in the storyline. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, what am I doing? So you did mean... Okay, I can go back in a second and change the angle. Don't worry. So Drew defeating Sheamus.
Seth and Cody beating Roman and Solo. Poor Roman Reigns. I don't think he's won many matches since we've started this, though, because I, I got him jobbing every match he had against Cody. <laughs> I don't think he should be the figurehead anymore. I think it's uh I think we need to have a look at see who's the best one for the figurehead after this. Uh Angle, Cody, Roman. Oh, can't uh, Roman Mike. Okay. What? You want a 20 minute long promo? Oh no, no, sorry, right, sorry. It's alright, ignore that. I got confused then. Right. So, angles close the show. The Rock. Microphone. Roman. Microphone. Cody. Microphone. Seth. Microphone. Right, you've only done 106 minutes, you know that, don't you, Josh? Do you want to book any more? Because you've only done 1 hour and 46 minutes, in theory, 106 minutes. Make last two matches 25 minutes, okay. No, I clicked on the wrong thing then. Do you want to throw in another match to start the show with some of your best workers, just to get the crowd going? Like I do sometimes. Oh my god. Right. Make a four way match and show me show isn't Okay, hold on. Yeah, I've got a women's match on here as well. Oh, you have got a women's match. What am I like Shayna versus Natalia? Just ignore me. So you want men? You want me to click on the men one? Male. There you go. That's that's who you've got left. Oh. I just realised you can't see what I can see. That is annoying. Bear with us, everyone. There you go, Josh. Sorry about that, mate. All right, have a look. Let me know. Yeah, sorry, Josh. My fault. Let me just stretch my leg. LA night, yeah. Yeah. Austin Theory. Chad Gable. Jay Uso. You want that to open the show, yeah? Or do you want the promo to open the show? Uh, United States champion. Because I think Chad Gable's the United States champion, isn't he? Gable wins. Okay. Right, are you happy with that? Yep, cool. Right, we're ready to go. Let's see how you get on. Right, 100%, 100 out of 100 for the promo, you gobshite. 
if you get another 100, I'm screwed. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I think I need to do a show with just John Cena promos and see if I can win. Uh, 91 rating for the four-way match. Shayna versus Natalia. Um, 90. 84 rating for the tag, tag, tag match, sorry. The angle with Sheamus and Drew got a 90 rating. The match got an 84 rating. I'm surprised by that. I thought it would have got a higher rating than that. And then the main event got an 89 rating. And then the promo at the end got a 98 rating. Ooh, it's going to be close, isn't it? What are we doing? Predictions. What do you reckon, Josh? What do you reckon? What rating do you reckon you got? 92. Nah, I think you got higher than that. <gasps> 90. Oh, I win again. I'm so glad I've got Paul Heyman, Stone Cold and John Cena. Yeah. Right, are you making note of this? So I got 90, 93. Dave got an 82, 83. And then you got a 90. I could be wrong. I don't know. Dave, can you remember what you got? I think it was 82, wasn't it? 83. Josh, you, I think you probably wrote it down anyway. Hey, we, st you still, we still increased the popularity in 45 regions, so we're doing well. Thank you very much, historian. Yeah, that's fine. If you two want to have a think, have a figure out what you want to do with your next show, it's going to take me a while. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. WWE rise to titanic size. Look at that. You love to see it. Uh, SmackDown got 23.5 million viewers. The next show is Raw in two days. Uh, let's try and get this done as quickly as possible. Yeah, well done, lads. We're doing well. We're doing well. We've got to Titanic size. Let's hope it doesn't sink like the Titanic. Am I right? Am I right? There you go. Professional joke there, everyone. I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Uh, bad, bu bad bunny will be back in twenty eight days. Whoever's got bad bunny, I think. I think uh, Dave's got bad bunny, isn't he? Uh, 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 uh. Oh. oh, apparently the Miz is off to make movies. So um, that screwed you over, Dave. Uh, not Dave, Josh. That screwed you over, mate. <laughs> you know, you ain't got the Miz for a while. He's in your storyline. Try me to replace him with somebody. Maybe Chad Gable. Probably make better matches, wouldn't it? Matt Sidell's contract's expiring, so I'm going to sign him and then we'll figure out who he goes to later on. Uh, let's just have a look and let, let's see if it'll tell us on here. The Miz. The Miz will be back in three months. So have, have a think and we can replace the Miz after a while once it's... Uh, your turn. Right then. I'm going to crack on with my, booking my show, lads. So you just have a think.
Have I not got Tully Blanchard? What's going on here? Oh, I don't know. Right. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, right. No, I will put Jade in there. And then Alexa Bliss, Ronda Rousey, Zoe Stark. Uh, 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 uh. Maya Yim, maybe. Ginny, maybe. Gulia. There you go, Gulia. Uh, right, let's have a look at the other storylines I've got. So we need to do something with Andrade, Bobby Lashley. I know what I'll do. I'll do another four-way match. I'll do Bobby Lashley, Angelo Dawkins, Montez. Paul, Naomi versus Andrade uh, and Girl, Humberto, um, uh, Selena. Let me just check the chat. Yeah, I said that last episode. I said that yesterday that he's lacking people that uh Oh well after this, let me book this first and then I'll I'll show you the mail roster.
Oh, I'm changing it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see who's on the roster. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, why is it? Oh, no, that's right. Let me check. There's loads of messages coming. What's going on? Oh, no, it's right. I thought there was new messages coming. Oh, I know what I'll do. Right, I'm ready to go starting the show. So, right, John Cena promo only got a 97 this time. Hmm, I wonder why that is. I don't know. Usually gets a hundred. Uh, Sami Zayn defeated John Cena in Rey Mysterio. Got an 86 rating. 97 rating for Stone Cold promo. 94 rating for the angle with Paul Heyman and uh, SST. 81 rating for the uh, tag match, which is pretty good considering. So uh, that's good. It's quite encouraging. 81 rating for the angle. I oh, know for the match. Sorry. Uh, the good guys, the good the, the good good guy lady wrestlers won. Bailey pins Zoe Stark. Apparently, Jade Gar Jade Jade Cargill was off her game. That might have been a mistake putting her in that match. Uh, the angle after the beatdown angle afterwards went down well. Eighty three right here. The uh, mixed uh, four versus four match got an eighty eight right here. So uh, that's good. 90 rating for the promo between CM Punk and Happy Corbin. 81 rating for the match. Oh, 85. Oh, 85. Uh, Josh, this might be your week, this one. I think Dave will do better than me this week as well. I've got a feeling you two are gonna. I'm gonna my uh, my hot streak of two two wins in a row is gonna be down now. I think Jade Cargill being in that match probably didn't help. At least I'm learning as I'm going along. Right, Devon's committed to us. That's good. No, you can't blame Happy Corbin. The promo got a 90 and the match got an 81 or something like that, so it wasn't wasn't necessarily Happy Corbin's fault. It's just one of them things, isn't it? Sometimes you got to take risks. If I look at the show, I can tell you exactly... Uh, show history raw so the weakest thing was the match that got an 86 rating in between the three the freeway match I oh, know these were the weakest things here uh, the bloodline maybe I should have put them against a better tag team I don't know but Lucha, Lucha house part is a good tag team to be honest it's this one I think I think this is what let me down if I had somebody else other than Jay Cargill that match would have got like an 84, 85. 
So next time I might put somebody else in there and see what happens. The angle afterwards didn't with the women didn't exactly go well. And then yeah, the eight yeah, happy Corbin versus Young Punk wasn't an amazing match. These things happen though. Right. Uh Dynasty now. So I'll just click on that. Dave, when you're ready, my friend. Angle, AJ Owens. Okay. Too many AJs. Oh, I don't think they're in the storyline, are they? I'll leave it. It's all right. Oh, they are in the storyline, aren't they? AJ Styles and Kevin Owens are in the storyline, aren't they? Uh, I was looking at SmackDown then, weren't I? That's why I got confused. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that, Dave. And it was Gunther versus somebody. Gunther versus Carmelo Hayes, yeah. I did rate Kevin. Have I, have I not done it? Have I done it by accident? I meant to. Oh, sorry, mate. That was my fault. My bad. Right. Um, Gunther. Carmelo. Oh, Carmelo Hayes. Viking Raiders beat Matt Riddle and Cobb. Harry and Oscar defeated, beat AJ Lee and Mandy Rose. Apollo Cruz defeats Xavier Woods. AJ and Shinsuke be owned and bunch of me.
an angle. So angle with the uh, Judgment Day with just Finn Balor on the mic. Right, I think that's it. Is there anything else you want me to change or add to it? Or do you want to make some of the matches longer? Okay. And cruise, okay. Right, anything else, then go. Okay. Right then. Angle with AJ and Kevin Owens, got an 89 rating. Nice way to start the show. Gunther defeated Carmella Hayes, and it got a 78 rating. Carmella Hayes seemed off the game. Only got a 69 in ring rating. Gunther only got a 75 rating though. That's a bit weird. We might need to look at upgrading Gunther and Carmella Hayes to make them a little bit more current. Um, Viking Raiders defeat the Chosen Bros. Got an 80 rating. And surprisingly, Jeff Cobb didn't complain about it. I was, I was amazed by that. Uh, Kabuki Warriors defeated AJ and Mandy Rose got an 81 rating uh, anything significant Mandy Rose was probably the weak link there got an 85 rating I think there was probably the match probably went too long between them if I'm honest with you because I think that's why that come up it's what usually happens I think it's either that or, or usually it says they were, they were exhausted after the match but Maybe Josh, the way to fix that, would that be like a slow build match or something <clears throat> to add more psychology to it? I'm assuming so. I wouldn't say you didn't. I, Dave, I wouldn't say you drafted badly. You, you're drafting for the future. Whereas I just wanted all the best people on the microphone. Um, I also wanted some good workhorses like Rey Mysterio and Sami Zayn. So I think I did all right. And I think obviously Josh did well with the bloodline and Cody and that. Every every single one of us has got weaknesses and strengths in our roster. It's not it's not just you, mate. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Right, let's see what happens else now. So in the main event, um, got an 83 rating. AJ Styles and Nakamura showed excellent chemistry teaming together. So there you go. You'll have to start. You'll have to well create a tag team for uh, AJ and uh, Nakamura when we finish. Yeah, you need good psychology, don't you? Yeah, but that's good to remember for next time. And then your closing promo got a ninety-three rating, so that's good. Uh, you only got a sixty-seven rating. Oh, that's. A, I feel like that's really harsh. I think that's a bit harsh. That is. I think Josh will probably agree with me. I think you did. I think you did really well. I don't think you got. I, I'm not being patronising when I say that. I genuinely surprised by that. Um, the crowd wasn't happy as they expected more angles and interviews. So you did one. Yeah, you, you only did two angles. Me and Josh tend to do about three or four angles in each show. I think that probably what what it was. So at least you can remember for next time. Don't be too don't be downhearted about it, Dave. At the end of the day, it's a it's a learning experience for us all. I'm dreading Josh's show. I feel like you're gonna win this one. If we put you on the graveyard shift, you'd have you'd have you'd have surpassed expectations. I would have been really happy with you. 
Right, I'm just going to add before I forget AJ Styles Nakamura tag team. I'm going to just call them. I'm just going to call them Adrenaline Overdose because I think that's a pretty cool name for them. Uh, I'll have a look in a sec. It was 85, I think it was, but let me just double check when this comes back up. I think I got an 85, and I think Dave got a 67. You'll probably get a 92, 93, or a 90. You'll you'll still beat me. Even if you repeated your last show, you'll probably beat me. Uh, let me just double check. Show history. Raw, 85. Yeah, I got an 85. Right then, Josh, I'm ready when you are. Ooh, just need to move my legs. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I'm getting old now, aching in my legs all the time when I sit down for a long period of time. Not as. Can you show me? Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to show you that last time, didn't I? Uh... Do you want Oliver? Do you want more men? So you just want the male roster, okay? There you go. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, right, tell me what you want to do with your show then, and I'll book it. We haven't had, many new we haven't had any newbies in for a while, have we? I've noticed that. Which is a show. Try my best, nothing else I can do. At least I'm entertaining you two, so there you go. Right, Angle, Rock and Triple H, both rated on mic. Uh, Triple H isn't on here. Why is Triple H not on here? Have you got Triple H? I don't think you've got Triple H. If I remember, I think. Oh, no. So he hasn't got him. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Smackdown. Any roll. Yeah, Triple, triple H then on here. Uh, let me just reset. Let's have a look, see where he is. Triple H. Ah, uh, Triple H is on Dynasty brand. Dave, do you remember picking Triple H or was it definitely Josh? Have I booed have I done a boo-boo? Right, okay. Sorry about that, Josh. Bear with us then. 
just need to quickly change him over to SmackDown and then we're good to go. There we go. Right. Let's try again. Triple H. There we go. Uh, have you got the Good Brothers yet? I don't think they're there yet. I can look. Oh, they are. Sorry, my bad. I, did, I don't remember seeing them saying that they signed. I must have forgot. And you have one more match as open a uh, new catch Republic defeat. Okay. I'll do that last. I'll do that last. Just remind me near the end before I click on it. Yeah, so Shayna defeat Carmella. I thought I read that as uh, Shayna defeating Carmella Hayes. And I thought, oh, someone's being brave. Trying something new, are we? Um... Right. Angle, the bloodline, Rock and Roman. Wait. Hold on. Is Jey Uso in the... Do you want me to put Jey Uso... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Jay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't matter, don't matter, don't matter. Right, okay. Angle, Cody, Seth, Sheamus, and all. Right, okay. Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins defeating Seamus and Cody. What? Um, let me get that right. Drew and Seth beating Seamus and Cody. Okay.
All right, let me just check that I've got everything right. Is there anything you want me to add, change, extend the match in any way? Or are you happy with just me to click continue now? What have I done? You want you want that as the oh it wasn't meant to be. I see what you mean. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I wasn't trying to sabotage you. I promise you. Oh no, I bulged up here. Hold on, I've done something wrong here. Hold on. Right. Click, 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 click. Where have you gone? Oh, for God's sake. I hate this. Right. Right, that's that's fine. Now we just need to go here, in it. Yeah. Right, that's right now, in it. Let me just check. I'm just want to make sure I've done this in the right order. Yeah, that seems all right now, doesn't it? Is that all right, Josh? Are you happy? Right, okay. Fingers crossed that you don't get a better rating than me. <laughs> right, opening tank match got an 88 rating. Hey, Austin and uh, Chris Bay did quite well, actually. Um, they got excellent chemistry together. Good opening match. 94 rating for the promo with The Rock and Triple H. I feel like ABC are overrated. I don't think they'd be 88 if they were in WWE, but I'll leave it. I'm not going to complain too much. Um... I mean, Happy Corbin and Otis, they're prime examples of being overrated, and I've got them on my roster, so I ain't going to say anything. Um, 92 rating for the other tag match, which is really good. Both teams have excellent chemistry together. Yeah, you've definitely won this. I mean, the fact that you've got a 92 rated match with Carmella. Yeah, you've definitely won this week. Uh, well done. Congratulations, Josh. 89 rain or definite lack of psychology. So maybe Jey Uso psychology isn't that good. Yeah, it was fine. It, it, you're still going to win this week. 95 rating for the angle. Sheamus was a bit underwhelmed. And then the tag match got a 94 rating. 94. Well done. Well done, Josh, you wanker. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well done, mate. No, well done. Best rating we've had so far, 94, innit? Just beats my 93. Yeah. You can tell I don't like I don't take losing very well. Now, well done, mate. Jokes aside, well done. 94 rating. My last show was 85. The one I just did uh, was 85. Matt Seidel's here. I'll leave Matt Seidel um, so everybody can have him in the on the roster if they want. Apparently, according to Finley, Chris Bay is money. Strap the rocket to this kid. So you might have the next superstar in Chris Bay. I think there's going to be a, a new push for uh, ABC, I think, by the looks of it. Yeah, it is. I know. Um, I'm going to forward it two days. I'm probably not going to book any more, lads, if I'm honest with you. I know we've only done an hour. and Actually, I might just book Raw, and then we'll see how we get on. 
because I feel like uh, I feel like we need to do at least two hours really. So you just have to put up with me. I'll try and book raw as quickly as possible, but I've got to be careful because I want to make sure I'll come out strong for this one because I do not want to lose to Josh again. One week, what we should do is 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 auto book all three shows and see which one does the best rating for a laugh. <laughs> I feel like I would win that one because the auto book would automatically just put John Cena and Stone Cold in about twenty different angles together. Right. Marina Shafir officially joins Raw. She's just left AEW. Uh, we finished out of two, finished first out of two in the American area battle this month. Right, I'm gonna book my show in a second. Right, let's have a look at the storylines. Draw day. I do. Uh, CM Punk. I do Andrade and see Andrade. Randy Orton versus Bobby Lashley. CM Punk. Uh, let me just check something. Andrade, microphone. No, he's not very good on the microphone, so he stays away from the mic. Bobby Lashley. Uh, Eighty-three, so he can be on the mic. And then, oh, what was the other wrestler here? Oh, I can't remember why they made tag match now. Bobby Lashley, Andrade. Oh, Randy Orton. Yeah, so it's fine. All right, so we do Bobby Lashley, microphone, Randy Orton, microphone, and then Andrade. Not rated. Uh, need to make sure I've done that. No, I didn't. Yeah. 
Well, let me just check the chat if I've missed anything. Yeah, it will improve as time goes on, Dave. You'll be all right, mate. Um, not long now, lad. Sorry, let me just check the chat so I haven't missed anything. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you've got a quite a good tag division, Josh, to be honest. I'd say it's definitely better than mine. Right, I think I'm ready to start. Mm. No, I'm not. Hmm. Yeah, I am. I'll keep it to one, to just over two hours. Yeah, but I purposely got all the best talkers on purpose because I needed them. Right, then I'm going to start the show now. Opening match only got an 83 rating. Which is disappointing. Bobby Lashley and uh, CM Punk showed excellent chemistry together, so that's good. Need to make them a tag team at some point. Uh, did an angle afterwards. 
Bobby Lassie wasn't very good on the mic. I don't think I'm going to win this week by the looks of it. Uh, John Cena got a 92 rain, 88. So they're getting less and less as I'm doing it. So maybe the, the crowd are getting bored of the same thing. Ah, 58 rain. Ah, oh, I know what I did there. I shouldn't have put them as fighting. I should have just left it as Paul Heyman. Ah, that's that's going to cost me. The match only got a 74 rating. AOP won the tag titles. Uh, right, Ronda Rousey retained a title. Angle afterwards got an 81 rating. Happy Corbin defeated Okada, John Cena and Rey Mysterio. Eighty four less than last week. That's a shame. Yeah, I rated I rated um I rated Arthur and, and um Samu uh at fighting and then I did uh Acker and Razor in selling. I completely balls that up. So yeah, I've given you that on a silver plate now, Josh, for next for next episode. Actually, we'll just do we'll just do another show each, so you two can do your shows, and then we'll call it a day. I don't think it will take us that long to do it. If it goes slightly after if it goes slightly after four o'clock, it's fine. Josh, just make a note of that on your pad. Eighty four rating for me. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Cheers, mate. Uh, Dave, get ready for your show, mate. It's coming up soon. I uh, just need to offer Carmelo a new contract to keep her here. Right. Let's see what you... Right then, Dave, over to you, my friend. Still there, Dave? I think the punishment is if you don't answer it in about five minutes, we'll we'll get the auto booker to book it. <laughs> right there. I'll uh, book this now.
No, it's all right, jo- um, it's all right, Dave. It's my fault because I changed it, didn't I? So don't worry about it. If you'd have just messaged me, say, give me five minutes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have had an issue with that. Um, Angle with AJ Lee and Apollo. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm confused. Where do you want that angle with AJ Lee and do you want that now? Or do you want me to carry on doing the show first? Mid show. Okay. I'll try and remember. Right. Um, Gunther. I'll do it now before I forget. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll I'll move them across. I'll move it across in a sec. If I remember, right? Viking Raiders defeat New Day. Is that? I'm assuming that's Kofi and Xavier Woods New Day. Uh, Oscar defeats AJ Lee. So angle with there, there you go. I'll put it in the right place now. Right. Uh, Apollo Cruz defeats Finn Balor. AJ and Nakamura defeat Owens and Reed again. You might want to be careful doing that match again in succession because it might make the fans annoyed. You're right. For, I think you can do it twice in a row, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't recommend. I mean, actually, I don't know, Josh. Does it make any difference? I suppose it probably doesn't. Does it? I mean, in real life, WWE books it all the time like that. Oh, I just seen I just seen my mistake, don't worry. There you go. I know. I mean, if it's anything like um, me booking the same angles, and it's getting less and less popular, uh, it might be the same with matches. I don't know.
Right. Dave, is there anything you want me to change? Anything you want me to extend? Anything you want me to add? Let me know. All good. Okay. Start show. Right. 94 rating for the opening angle. 89 for the opening match. Tag match got an 87 rating. Obviously, Viking Raiders and New Day have excellent chemistry. Ooh, that's a good one. Oscar versus AJ Lee. You're definitely you've definitely beaten me this week, Dave. I can guarantee that. Uh Promo with AJ Lee and Apollo got a 78 rating. Apollo Cruz defeated Finn Balor got a 96 rating. So what he lacks on the mic, even though AJ, what lack of, or AJ Lee lacks on the mic, I suppose as well, they more than make up for in ring in the match quality. <laughs> and obviously Finn Balor's really good in the ring as well. So that was a good one. And then your tag match. Got a 95 rating, so I think if you want to keep booking this match, keep booking it because it's obviously working. Uh, and then the close, oh, the closing angle only got a 75 rating. 94. Oh, well done, Dave. Well done, mate. 94 rating. You've you, you've uh, you've equaled Josh's record now. Pressure's on Josh now. Ooh wee boy! I don't want to be you right now, Josh. Well done, Dave. Are the twins helping you by by any chance? Are you cheating? Anthony Bowens officially joins WWE. Oh, we can sign the bunny. There you go. I know who I know who wants the bunny. I think it'll be uh Dave. Jimmy Uso is fully fit now, so you can put him in matches if you wanted to, um, Josh. Uh Dynasty got a 6.44 TV rating. Obviously, ESPN aren't complaining now, are they? You showed them, Dave. You told them straight. Yeah, I thought you'd have the bunny. I think we'd all have the bunny, to be honest. Have you seen the nude photos of Ali? Woo! Ay, 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 puppy. Ay, ay, ay. Woo! The Blade is a very lucky man, I'll tell you now. Plus, she seems really cool as well. She's like she's into um, collecting wrestling figures and stuff like that. So she's awesome. Right then, Josh, you're up, mate. Oh God, why are you saying oh God for? What's wrong? Ah, oh, take your time, mate. You can just, do you want to just do it bit by bit then? Just type it in bit by bit and then I'll, I'll pull it in. No, you don't need to do that. Just do it. Just do it bit by bit. Take your time. If we go slightly over the time limit, it don't matter. Just do it how you want to do it. If you want to do that, do that. But if you want to take your time and do it bit by bit, 
Just do it. Se just do um, segment at a time. Just type it in, and then I'll do it, and then you can type the next one. We won't. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Don't. Sorry, mate. Right. Uh, bloodline, Roman, Roman, Roman. Okay. Right, I'm up to date. Thanks, thanks for that uh that added note there that you love live. Angle, Cody, Sakura, Shamus, okay.
Is that the main event? Yeah, Cody and Sheamus defeating Drew and Sh Okay. Right. Maybe shame move shameless shame as much of all okay. Uh. Anything else? No? Okay, cool. Opening match got a seventy eight rating. It's because they don't rate Grace on Waller. That's what it is. Uh, the angle got an 86 rating. The tag match got a 92 rating. Obviously, both teams uh, excellent chemistry. Bloodline angle got a 94 rating. Jey Uso versus Solo we've got a 79 rating. You'd expect that to be a little bit higher. Again, they don't rate Solo Sequoia, do they? That's the problem. Um, Shayna defeated Liv Morgan, got a 94 rating. Shayna just absolutely killing it every match she has. A hundred for the uh, the angle, the tag angle. Sheamus was a very underwhelming somehow. And then the main event got a ninety four rating. Ooh, you got a ninety four rating for the week. Oh, should be ninety five. Uh, it's probably the solo Jay Uso match. So uh, you drew. Yeah, you did well though. Fair play. Neck and neck for this one. So, so we did two weeks worth. I won the one week and then it was neck and neck for you two for the second week. And that is that correct? And then I won the previous episode shows as well. So technically I'm still winning overall, but I genuinely do worry about my me at the top. We could do with like a, a league table and then maybe do like three point. No, nah, you don't want to do a league table. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Right then, lads, I'll just wait for this to finish and see if there's any news items. And then I'll skip it forward to the next show. First shows were both Drew on... Oh, we drew, didn't we? I won, I won, so we drew the first show. I won one. You've won one. No, have you won one? Have you won one of the weeks? No, you didn't, did you? Uh, Nikki Cross reckons there's money in Chris Bay as well, so just letting you know, Josh. Yeah, so I won. I won the week that we started this this stream on, and then you and Dave drew the one, and then we drew the first week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So am I technically still ahead? I think I'm still technically ahead, and I. No, I'm not ahead. Okay, explain to me. I won week one. Oh. You just... Oh, okay. So we're neck and neck then, basically. No, he didn't. He got a 94, didn't he? No, he got... Dave got a 94. I'm, I swear he did. Let's check. Right. Let's check, check here. Hold on. So there you go. Let's go through that. Can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Right. Let's go through it all over again. So the week, the first week we started this, I got a 93. Dave got a 79. You got a 93. So you are correct. The first week we drew. The second week, I got a 93. Oh, Dave got an 85. And you got a 90. So I won week two. Week three, I got an 85. Dave got a 67. 
you got 94, so you won week three. And then this week just gone, I got an 84, Dave got a 94, you got a 94. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're all level. We'll just leave it as that. It doesn't really matter anyway, does it? We're all having a good time. It don't matter. Dave will win next week. Dave will win the next one, won't you, Dave? I, I know he will. I have every faith in him. Right, I'm gonna call it a day then. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skip forward to Raw. I can do that offline and, and then set up my next show. Oh I've got Starcade. So we start we start our events. So next show, next stream, we'll all we'll all have an event each. So let me just click on events just to let you know the name of your event. Where is it? What month are we in? May. Right, so we're looking at May here. So I've got Starcade and then Josh, you are Next with breakdown, and then Dave, you are next. Um, so it'll be work. Uh, this week is my pay per view. Next week is Josh's pay per view, and the week after is uh, Dave's. So we'll do events separately to the TV shows. So we need to keep note of that as well. Right then. Uh, an enjoyable stream thanks again you two uh, hopefully in time we'll get other people interested it's only been us three of the whole stream no Bazinga no JBR 3Z uh, not tomorrow sorry did I say I'll be on tomorrow I, I sorry I meant Thursday uh, yeah Thursday is Thursday 2pm UK time is when the next stream is happening I'm having a day off tomorrow but yeah enjoy the rest of your evening enjoy you tomorrow lads See you later. Thanks again. Bye.